OpenSight Designer and Modeling. OpenSight Designer has, has been created not just to be another CAD tool to do construction documents. It's for modeling. So we're introducing a thing called phases. There's a concept, a preliminary, and a final. Concept is being mostly ran by the computer and optimization and parametrics with our help. Preliminary is when you take an object or component and you take it to the next level to start detailing it. And this is going to be a mix between more human interaction and the parametrics, but we can do it at a finer detail level. There's little things that we need to look at, not in concept, but beyond concept in preliminary. When we've looked through all those scenarios and concept and we've now taken it and said, this is the one I want to go forward with, how do we make those little individual changes? Something as simple as I need to change one row of parking, one parking island, one driveway, one piece of a building. We can do that at this level. You can see within just a few minutes, we've changed the island, the parking configuration. We have some areas where you don't even want an island at all. Or maybe it's just striping. We make that change very quickly. And when you make that change, that also means the conceptual grading plan needs to be revised as well. So let's go back and hit the grader. We still have intact the optimization engine. If you notice, the islands have changed. The ones have went away. So we're now grading this project based upon those revisions that we made in preliminary stage. And you can have a mix between concept, preliminary, and final on your components. So as you go forward in your design, you can start making them to what you're looking for. So once you've gone through a project and started detailing it, the next thing is let's change that to final. With all the components on the project switched from preliminary to final, we can now see it's add surface definitions and surface templates. It's created the linear templates for the curbs and applied that. It's now created for me, the user, a 3D model that I can start using to go forward into my detail. But you can still always grade at this point. If you're not done, you can keep adding components. The optimization engine is still attached. The only difference is when something goes to final, it no longer is looking for a solution. It takes it that you're happy where, you, where you're at. Now at this point, we can start taking advantage of a lot of the templates that come with OpenSight Designer, such as a tie-in template. Lots of templates are included to help you do plan production. Pick the linear tie-in template that you want to choose. In this case, we'll just choose a simple tie-in. Grab the feature that you want to apply that to. Let's just do the outer edge of one of the curbs. Accept it. Give it a starting point and an ending point. And that quick, it applied that surface template and created the tie-ins. I can still control that tie-in. Again, it's all about taking that conceptual preliminary model, going into detailing to get to those construction documents. So OpenSight Designer delivers a lot of modeling tools to help you get your projects done faster and better.